Yo, what happened? This keyboard is horrible for gaming. Oh yeah, come get some. Ooh, we straight out of the box. We have this beautiful mechanical keyboard. It has truly a solid weight to it. It feels a little bit heavy, but I know it is called solid construction. It weighs 3.91 pounds, user's manual, and a magnetic wrist rest. Look at how beautifully that's designed. Ooh, it says gaming right here. Oh, these are the magnets. Cool. All right. And six additional red switches keycap and a key puller welcome to my gaming room gaming desk let's go ahead and get it connected so this keyboard is compatible with ps4 pc xbox windows and Mac. All right, so I'm gonna plug it in. It recognizes it. Oh, check it out. It's lighting up. It's doing its configuration. That is a beautiful keyboard, guys. Look at that edge lighting, and each individual key is lit up. Wow, let me turn off the light. Ooh, wee, that's beautiful. But hold on. In addition to the magnetic wrist rest, Let's go ahead and make this at a good angle. See? Tilt that at an angle and then put in the magnetic wrist rest. We are good to go, baby. So as you can see, the keys are laid out in a traditional alphanumeric pattern. You got a num lock right here and your characters right here. Cruelty keyboard. Okay. You guys hear that? That is a mechanical keyboard. You see how it's a different solid sound compared to your standard keyboard, such as this Dell one. Yeah. These ones you damage it or get water into it, you cannot replace it. It has to go. But these, you can use the tool provided to remove it and replace it, and you're good to go. In addition to your traditional keys, there are nine dedicated customizable macro keys. If you take a look at the upper right, we have the multi-function roller along with four media keys. So you could play songs. Okay, let's check out this roller right here. See what it does. It actually increases and decreases the volume. So what would happen if I press this media key? Oh, you see how that lit up? Oh, you could change the brightness. Look at that. That's cool. I think that's the maximum. You can even decrease it. Cool. So with the memory customization, you can have certain keys turned on and off. See that? In case you don't want to turn on all of the keys. That's truly awesome. So here is the customization software. It's called 1-119. I add that to my taskbar on my PC. And what's awesome about this customization is that you can change your light settings, button settings, macro management, and other settings. So let's say for example, um, I want to change this keyboard color to uh, all be red. See that? Change it instantaneously, but don't worry. Once I click on rainbow, it goes back. All right. Now you can also change the brightness of the slider. Very easy to use. Okay. Now let's go for all these color settings. So let's go ahead and see what corrugated means. Ah, oh, that's corrugated. Cool. Cloud. Serpentine. Oh, that's pretty cool too. Spectrum, breathe, normal, reaction, what's reaction? 
Oh, whatever you type, it has a reaction to it. Cool, cool, cool. And ripples. Ripples? Oh, snap. <laughs> Freaking amazing. Okay, I might as well show you the button settings, uh, macro management, other settings, and you can even name the profile. So much you can do with this. You can uh, export. You can copy, reset, recycle bin, import. A lot of cool functions. Man, this is awesome. So I have the settings set to spectrum. You see how that alternates the colors. For keyboard, we obviously have to test out the typing capability. So let's go ahead and type up a sentence. J Rule Productions. It sounds great, a solid feel. What about with a regular keyboard? You see how that sounds different? Yeah, that's not gonna cut it. With a mechanical keyboard, it sounds solid and it's created to be more dependable and reliable. So if you actually do some research, mechanical keyboards are preferred because the, the traditional membrane keyboard because it has a quick reflex built in which features 100% anti-ghosting and in-key rollover. That means whenever you hold down the keys, it always registers as opposed to a memory keyboard which might be confused. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to use the keycap remover. And I wanna go ahead and replace it. Might as well test it out. Let's say I wanna take out this K. You see how that pops up, pops in there. Just give it a little bit force. That's the keycap, all right? So let's say if this was damaged, I want to replace this K key, okay? So here's the proper removing a key. I'm gonna use my tool right here. Make sure that fits into the grooves at the top and the bottom. And I'm gonna pull out straight uh, so it doesn't bend legs. There you go. See how that easily came out? So let's say I wanna replace it with uh, this one, the new one, okay? So you notice the positioning. I'm just gonna put it back in here like same positioning. Okay, like that, press it down, and make sure that registers, let's say if I type this, yep, yep, that looks good, now I'm going to replace the key cap, uh, I believe that just snaps in like that, yep, very good. So that's how you replace the keycap and keys. Oh, I am ready. Oh my goodness, guys. This final boss is crazy hard, but man, this keyboard is getting me all hyped up. I love the colors. It's perfect for the office and all the gaming room. You are well on your way to conquering the world with the right Sophie mechanical gaming keyboard.